And the Mountain CEO, Mark Douglas, joins me now. Mark, it's good to see you. Good morning. So, good morning. There, that's, there's so many business leaders here in Vegas for F1, and you are new to the franchise. So talk us through how this announcement came together. Yeah, so this is the first, we're partnering with F1 for the 2024 season, and we expect beyond. And this is the first race here in Vegas. It's, it's I think, and I, it's like uh, the U.S. is Monaco, basically. Yeah. I literally, this morning, was on the track because the track is on the Las Vegas Strip. So it's pretty exciting. And it's exciting. Yeah, well, it was still open. It's yeah. closed down tonight. Yeah, tonight it'll be closed. But right now, like, the taxi driver was excited. <laughs> was well, you found one of them excited. Some of the others are upset. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm hearing. But, yeah, it's an exciting partnership because we do performance television. Television, and then obviously Formula One is all about performance. So it's just kind of the same mindset. How do we What squeeze? is performance television? Yeah, performance television is taking TV as a medium, opening it up to any size brand, so not just the biggest brands, and then really, you know, essentially kind of matching consumers with brands they love. Small and, business. Yeah, small businesses, mid-sized businesses, and really kind of connecting them in a way that you only previously got with, like, paid search and paid social, but now the amount, you know, you get now for television. So you work with the streamers, right, primarily. NBC Universal, our parent company, is a... Yeah, NBC, NBC, ironically, is the biggest, is our biggest partner, but we work with over 160 TV networks in, in the U.S., and we're essentially a growth channel for all of them. We're just bringing this whole new cohort of, of advertisers into the television advertising market. How, how is the advertising, television advertising market right now, and the appetite from some of the bigger companies to allocate more? Yeah, well, I think for the biggest advertisers, they generally are stable, maybe even a little nervous about the economy. But when you bring in all these new small advertisers, they, they it's, it's like the economy itself. It's like all the new jobs come from the small businesses. All the new ad dollars in television are going to come from small. So that businesses. appetite is still there despite oh, yeah. some signs of a slowdown in the economy, uh, high rates? Absolutely. Actually, when the market, when the economy gets slow, generally what happens is companies shift more their dollars to where they can measure the impact. And that's kind of what we call performance TV. You know, it's interesting. We were just talking with George Kurtz of CrowdStrike, and he is on the Mercedes car, did the deal in 2019 before CrowdStrike went public to try to bring awareness. Yeah. So, you know, my question is, is are you doing this ahead of a public debut <laughs> to bring more awareness? Well, it, unfortunately, even if that were the case, it's not anything I can talk about. But we, we have a lot of scale, and we're, we launched this in 2018. It's grown tremendously and you know we're growing the business and bringing more customers and given the economy we just we're focused on growth and just just kind of bringing more companies into the advertising market. I'm not surprised you went with Alpine because Ryan Reynolds is an owner now. Yes. He, he's an investor and in, in the team but I do wonder if you get more exposure being with a team that's not in the top say four or five yeah on the on the track yeah well we think alpine's a fantastic partner they have racing the brand has racing heritage and ryan's involvement definitely played a role in this all coming together and it came together actually pretty quickly because it just made a lot of sense so i think with all of that together that it was a team that made, made how, how do you determine whether the investment is worth it um, really, we have metrics, like our customers have metrics that they're looking to drive, you know, more consumers to their brand and drive purchases. We're doing the same thing. In our case, it's more for like B2B, like what, how many companies are we bringing to mound? How are they spending on their platform? How did they become aware? We have this, you know, with Ryan part of the team, obviously he brings a lot of awareness, but we think again, we're turning TV into like, it's performance TV and obviously Formula One is all about performance. How much does it cost?